Hi, Timothy Unker here. In this video, I'm going to talk about using Pandoc to convert a text file to an HTML file that you can use for your blog. And then you could SCP it up to your server or upload it through the file manager, however you want to do it. So what I'm going to do is open up my terminal here, and I've created a, a text file called cyclingsaddlehight.txt. Uh, I used to be a cyclist back in the day, and one of the things I was interested in was formulas for saddle height. So I wrote up a little blog on that. And you'll see that I have on the top, I have some front matter. That's between the three dashes here. Let me get this a little bit larger for you. Okay, so I have this front matter here. Um, now below it, for each of the headings, I use a markdown style format. So you're writing a text file, but in kind of a markdown style format. And then here you'll see I have Lamond because of the Lamond saddle height, it's in square brackets. Now, if I go down lower in the document to the end of the document, we have Lamond in square brackets, then a colon, then the web address. So this is a, a sport coaching website um, and they wrote about the Lamond saddle height. So I linked that through my article. I also have Greg Lamond in brackets. And then I linked to the Wikipedia page for Greg Lamond, along with a few other saddles that I talk about, the Cell San Marco Rolls, Regal, and the Brooks saddle within the article. So I have some paragraphs here. Uh, and then I have the asterisks indicate an unordered list in Markdown. And I have some more headings here and so on and so forth. So let's just... Uh, quit out of here for just a moment. And if I list out my files, I see that I also have a footer.html. And I'm going to bring that in later. But let's let's go back here. Let's just go back into this document. And let's use Pandoc to convert this to just a plain HTML uh, fragment that we could put in uh, an HTML, uh, basically like a, a base document for your blog. So the first thing I'm going to do is just run a shell command, I'm going to do pandoc, and you have to have pandoc installed, and to install it, you just type for Linux sudo app, install pandoc, or you go to the website, and install it for your operating system. It's pretty easy. Uh, so we're going to do pandoc, and then just the name of the file, so cycling-saddle-height, uh, or cycling-saddle-height.text-o for output, and then I'm going to change the extension that I output it to, to HTML. And I'm going to hit enter and enter again. And if I look in my file explorer, you'll see I have now this cycling satellite height.html. Now, if I go down this document, you'll see if I go to the top with GG here, you're going to see that it is just an HTML fragment. We don't have a head, we don't have a body. But what I could do is I could, you know, I could do uh, V and then capital G dollar sign and then yank it and then I could paste it into a base template that I had. So that's one method of doing it. Um, I'm going to go back to my file explorer, and I'm actually going to get rid of this. So we're going to delete it. So I'm going to say yes. And OK, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to run another shell command. I'm going to do pandoc, uh, again, the name of the file, um, dash s for standalone. So I want a standalone file, dash o. Uh, I think the dash O has to come after the dash S and then cycling saddle height.html. And I'm going to hit enter and enter. And we've got the file created. Now, this time when I created it, it's created as a uh, HTML5 document. You can see the doc type HTML and then the head of the document it includes some XML stuff up at the top. You don't necessarily have to put that. Um, now, if I open up this file, let's open up file here. Uh, we'll go to my Linux files, and open up the file. You'll see it's just very plain HTML and it's not styled, but um, these links do work. So if I click on, let's click on Greg Lamond, it will go to the Wikipedia page for Greg Lamond. Okay. So the links are all working and, you know, it's, it's a website you could read. It's a 90 style website, but let's say you want something a little bit different and you want to link in a style sheet. So let's create a style sheet. Let's go to our file explorer. Let's create a style sheet. Now you'd want to point this uh, link in the direction of your style sheet online if you were going to SCP this up. But just for purposes of this video, 
we're going to just create a style.css in the same folder. So I'm going to create a file called style.css. And let's bring in a Google font here. Let's go to Google fonts. Okay. And um, I think I was using, I was taking a look at Open Sans this morning, just a basic font. So I've selected Open Sans with the regular and the 700. Um, and I'm just going to import this font into the top of the style sheet. So I'm going to copy this, go here, uh, paste that into the stop of the top of the style sheet. We'll go down, and uh, I'm also going to do, let's see, box sizing order box. So we're going to do a very short style sheet and make this look nice and pretty for a vlog. Uh, then we'll do the body. Um, I'm going to paste in their font family if I scroll down here. So we'll just do font family open sans. So I'll just paste that in, paste in the font family. Let's do a padding of 20 pixels. Whoops. Let's do a max width of 600 pixels. Let's do a margin left of auto, margin right of auto. Close that out. Um, uh, I do want to run a sort here, just sort the lines in alphabetical order. It's always good practice. Um, let's do for our headings, let's center all of our headings. So we'll do H3, H4, H5, H6, and we'll just do text align center. Okay. And let's change our links. Let's change the link color to red. Okay. And yeah, I think that's all we want to do for right now. Okay, so now I can run a pandoc command. So I can do pandoc, um, and then I'm going to do, let's see, I think it's dash c style.css, uh, and then we're going to do um, cycling saddle height.txt dash o, and cycling saddle height.html, and we want to do a standalone, so we want to do a dash s in here. Hit enter and okay. So now if we go here and we go to the cycling saddle height, we should see that right here on line 18, we've linked in that style sheet. So now if I bring this up, let's open this up again. So now we have this nice looking blog. Okay. And we could change the font size, make it a little bit larger, change the line height, do whatever we want, but we got this nice blog. Now we also might want to link in a footer file. Uh, so if we wanted to link in a footer file, and I've just created a simple footer file here uh, called footer.html. Um, so right here, we have this nice little footer file that just has a copyright and the year and all that kind of stuff. So we could just append a footer file just to kind of get this like a common between all our blogs or have, we could have this much more complicated. We could have archives and all kinds of stuff in the footer. Um, but this is a very basic one. If we want to append that, I'm going to do a shell command here. I'm going to do pandoc, uh, a dash C for the style.css, a dash capital A, because we're appending the footer.html. And then we're going to take the uh, cycling saddle height.txt. We're going to uh, have that as a standalone. We're going to output it as cycling saddle height.html. I'm going to hit enter and enter. And now if I go here and check out the file again, um, I can go down here and I can see at the bottom of the file, I have this footer. Now, if I wanted to, I'm using Vim here, but use Vim or Emacs. If you want to indent it for get the proper indentation, I would just do uh, GG equals G and then save it. The lines are indented properly with uh, Emacs. I would do alt control backslash and that would, after I do control X H to highlight everything. Okay. So now if I open this up again, we go down to the bottom, we see that we have this footer here. Okay. So I put the footer on so you can create a nice little blog from just a basic, simple text file, uh, very, very easily using Pandoc. So, uh, let me just show you what I started with again. So I started with this just basic text file here, very basic, not looking nice. And then you got yourself a nice blog that you can upload to your website via SCP or your file manager or however you want to do it. Um, 
and you can create it very quickly. I hope you found this video interesting. If you did, could you please give it a like as it will help get out to more people. I also want to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.